Good morning, y'all. Today is a special day. It's a big day in the Alexander household. Um, first off, why are you laying on this? Tell them what's happening today. Fry's first gymnastics class. I could cry. If it was dance, I think I would for sure be crying. But I'm already like low-key crying because it's similar like me getting her dressed and doing her hair. I'm gonna throw up. Digital audio in. Oh, good morning, sissy. <laughs> Wanna practice? Wait, ready? <laughs> Tuck your neck. Good job! Woo! Who's ready for gymnastics? Why? Right. <laughs> How are you feeling, gymnastics, Dad? Well, I gotta start them now if I want the next Simone Biles. So it's it's a big day for me. Yeah. Oh man. Simone Biles in training. Simone Biles in training. Where's your gymnastics outfit? What you want me to be in? Some tights? Lucky, yeah. Cause you gotta get in there. I don't oh. got no tights. I get you some. All right, just got back inside from gymnastics. How'd it go? Right. Did so good. I'm so proud of her. I am so proud of she my baby. She did amazing. Girl. Like she, she's so young, and I feel like it is a hard age to like follow direction and stuff. But she's such a good listener. Mm -hmm. She was listening to her coach. Mm -hmm. She was listening to me. She was listening to mommy. She did really well. Josh was standing at the door giving rye water, and I, like me too, because I was getting. <laughs> So now we're about to go get something to eat. We're going to the new spot called Chipotle. And um It's our first time, so let us know what we should get. <sighs> oh my gosh. You guys. I have been sneezing a crazy amount. When I sneeze, I pretty much sometimes pee my pants. So sorry if that's too much information. But I have a nail appointment at 2.30. It's 2.36, so I'm late already. I asked Rye what color I should get my nails. Right now I have like this orangish red, which is really cute. I've been loving this. I've been getting a lot of compliments on this color. It's just dip. Rye told me that she wanted me to get orange blue and purple nails. I'm pretty sure that's what she said. I need to make her dreams come true. And I actually found this inspo and Loki kind of cute blue it literally has like every color so i feel like this might do the trick for rye and it's kind of fun in spring even though is it still winter technically i don't know it is cold here today but i'm like in the spring vibe and i'm feeling springy it's been really sunny we've been outside a lot and it's like giving me a glimpse into summer so i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm bringing my kindle in because i'm gonna read while i get my nails done. i don't know why i've never done this yet i'm reading Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Hugo. Right now, it's really good. I'm on page, let's see. Oh, how do I know what page I'm on? Guys, I'm new to being a Kindle girly, so I don't really know. Oh, okay, I'm on page 151, which is in the Kindle, so I don't know if that's different than the actual book, but I am in the middle of a chapter. I hate when I stop in the middle of a chapter. I don't know why I did that. I was probably tired reading last night, but anyways, I'm gonna read while I get my nails done because uh, I'm always like trying to be on my phone and I can't. I can't really do anything on my phone when I have like my nails wrapped in foil or she's painting my nails and stuff. I feel like reading, especially Kindle, I feel like it's perfect because with like a book, a physical book, you'd have to like turn the pages and stuff, which is essentially the same as if you're like trying to scroll on your phone. But this I can just do a quick tap. I'll show you my nails when I come back home. Okay, here's the thing. It's a good thing my nails look cute. These are the nails. They're pretty fun. But my nail lady was giving me the time of day and I'm a little bit peeved. Because I just found a nail lady I liked, and I went through about four other nail ladies before I got to her. So I'm feeling indifferent. I showed her, tell me if I'm, tell me if I'm like, am I the problem? Am I the problem? Okay, so in the past, when I've gone to get my nails done and I've done like a design or something with like a lot of colors, I'll just give, like this is literally the photo, I gave it, I gave her my phone and usually the nail, tech will go over to the colors and just like pick all the colors that match like I was like I'm not picky like it doesn't have to be exact she has me go through the book of colors and literally write down a whole thing in my notes of every color she's like can you write down every color and I'm just like is this my job to be doing this like that's why I'm paying you am I am I rude am I the problem am I the problem I think I might be the problem but then she goes it's gonna be five extra because so many colors hmm <laughs> You're not doing anything different. It's the same thing. You have to just twist a few more caps. I don't know, that's fine, whatever. That's what, it's fine, whatever, $500 is fine. And then she calls in for backup and she has her coworker picking the colors. And then we start painting. That's where things start to go crazy. She's like, okay, what color? And I'm like, bruh, look at the photo. Like you have all these colors on your table, right? What I would do is I would just be like, oh, where's the hot pink one? That's what we're starting with. But no, she makes me read through my my spark notes of all the colors that i wrote down i'm like girl you're literally making me sweat 
in this nail salon for this. My chair was too high, you know, it's like one of those office chairs, and my knees were literally crunched. I'm like, for one, I'm pregnant, like my belly, I'm uncomfortable. So I was like, can I, I didn't say it like that, but I'm just telling you guys like that. But I was like, can I lower the chair, like my knees are hitting the thing, and she was like, you have to do it, I don't know how. I'm like, well, I sure don't know how. These aren't my chairs. And then we didn't get the chair lowered, so I was just like uncomfortable the whole time. She's having a whole fiasco about my colors. And then this is this is the kicker. This is the icing on the cake. She says, next time, come on a weekday. Now you're going to tell me when to get my nails done. Now that right there, I can get my nails done on a Saturday if I want to get my nails done on a Saturday. But no, she was like, she was she was sweet. She is very sweet. I hope she never sees this, but if she does, it's fine. But she was like, I'm less busy. Like, I have more time if you come on like a weekday, which with our schedule like that's fine I can come on a weekday am I being too much or am I like no it's like I don't know this is what I was just saying I don't speak up about my nails because I don't want to be annoying but I'm also like I'm paying you and this is your job so like I should like my nails which I do like them it was just a headache to get to this point I'm, I'm fine I'm fine I'm gonna be fine I think I just need to cool down and I think it's fine she's she did good she did what she could she was stressed out it's too many colors I get it it's, it's, a, lot. it's a lot it's a lot but they're cute, so. Hello. What's I see your nails. Don't right? look at him yet. <laughs> wow. That's one hand, and uh -huh. this is the other hand. Here, wait, hold the camera. Yeah. I think that they look very dope. You really listened to your daughter. I did what she said. She said she wanted pink, orange, blue, purple. Uh, do you like them? Yes, but Tracy made me break out in a full sweat today. You calling her by her first name is crazy. I already told them. They know the story. I don't know the story. What happened to Tracy? It's a long story. Why is it a long? No, I don't have time. I'm editing right now. Okay, so I just recorded a whole entire clip. And it was in slow-mo. I should have went with my guy. What I said in the clip was that we went to go watch Josh on Sundays. He has his basketball league. It just started up again. And both the girls fell asleep in the car. So I was like, I'm just going to sit in the car, let them nap, finish out their nap. And then Starly woke up almost immediately. I said, no, no, really, we're not doing that. So we went to Black Rock. I got myself a little drink. They both, Starly fell back asleep. And then Rye woke up when I stopped the car to actually vlog and talk to you guys. And then I started driving again, and then she fell back asleep. Now they're both asleep, but I'm actually about to just go in because... Rilo can needs to wake up from her nap anyways, and I don't just want to sit in the car the whole time. My mom is about to come help me because I have about 40 things to carry and two babies to carry and one in my belly, so. Hi. What are you doing? <laughs> I was vlogging. Cute outfit, honey. Cute outfit, honey. What's good, y'all? Uh, we are headed to Seaside, Oregon. We're going on a little beach trip. Seaside Beach. But let me show y'all what we working with right now. This does not look like a beach trip. I think we mistaken for a mountain trip. <laughs> <laughs> this is about crazy. This is crazy. I had no idea that we were about to drive through a winter wonderland. This is definitely gonna be more of a cozy beach trip. We know that it's like not warm this time of year, but I feel like Going to like a different atmosphere when it's cold is still nice. And it gives you like a break from like the gray and the rain. Um, but it's actually supposed to be sunny. We're gonna be at the beach for like two nights. And it's supposed to be like cold but sunny, which is amazing because we can still play on the beach and stuff. Um, but we guys have been really excited for the beach, but the only beach she's ever been to is like a warm beach. So excited for the beach, yeah. A uh, Florida beach or like an, a California beach. Josh said he's gonna be inside the entire time. The with, entire with time. It's the same weather as it is back home. So why would I? And I'm not outside. There. I literally was like, "Did you bring your coat?" And you're like, "I'm not gonna be outside." I'm like, "Bruh." Yeah. What you, what you thought this was? This is a pretty crazy background you got going. I know. This is. Should... It's actually beautiful. Not as beautiful as me though. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. We made it. That road trip actually wasn't bad. Josh isn't a road trip guy. It wasn't a road trip. Thank you. Josh, you've- An hour 30 isn't a road trip. You have, you've changed your ways. Stop. Because we've recently gone on like a four hour road trip with both the girls and nothing will compare to that and we won't do that again. We're not a road trip type of family. We're definitely more of a like get on a flight if we're able to type of family. But this is only like an hour and a half away so it wasn't bad. This is, here just press it because we so we can see. 
This is our current situation. We're waiting to check into our Airbnb, but we're literally right on the beach. And it's definitely a gloomy, cozy beach vibe. Okay, we're actually, we decided to go get one. Can you turn that off? What? That's sit right. Oh my gosh. Okay, I feel like I've been hearing like music. I like, know. okay, thank you. I knew it. Um, we decided that we're gonna go eat lunch first because we were waiting. The cleaners were gonna be done with the Airbnb soon, but. We were just like chilling there and I really have to pee slash we're hungry and there was no point for us to just like wait there even though it was a really beautiful view but we're going to this place that okay so this is a really nostalgic thing for me guys I didn't even preface like Seaside Beach I grew up coming here as a kid and especially for dance stuff like they would have nationals here sometimes and so I would come here for competitions and it's just giving nostalgia to the max I haven't been here since I was like literally a kid so this is crazy for me but I will say I used to come here more so in the summer and it's a bit different of a vibe but I do still kind of like enjoy it and it feels really nostalgic and fun but we're going to Moe's right now which is like a sea it's actually a seafood place I'm not a big seafood person but I do love a good cup of clam chowder and their clam chowder is really good you have to get it in the bread bowl you have to but, get it in the bread bowl do you like clam chowder? Oh gosh, Snoopy. You tried it. You really did. Baby, you are Snoopy. You're fine. like a basset hound. Okay, you're a basset hound. <laughs> we made it to Moe's. I ordered clam chowder in the bread bowl. Even though I'm not that hungry because I ate a big bag bowl on the way here. But like I said, you have to get it in the bread bowl. So. You're a TikToker. Jackie's just working. And here's the thing. I like, I oftentimes pester him while he's working. And I'll like talk to him and ask him questions and ask him to do things. But I've learned that it's actually nicer to just let him work when he needs to work. So I'm getting better at that. What what did you guys find? <laughs> Right there, dude, for real. Daddy. No, Daddy. No, Daddy. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Love you, honey. <laughs> All right, y'all. We uh, are in the Airbnb. It is next day. I'm pretty sure we did not vlog, but we are in the cribbo. This is a big baby, bro. I know, she's getting really big. She's looking at me like I'm crazy. That's how I know she's getting big. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna give y'all a tiny tour in a second, but this house is big. Savannah, you snapped again. You snapped when we did the villas mm -hmm. when uh, in uh, the Bahamas. Now you snapped again with this. Come on. The reason this is a big big deal because when we first got married, Savannah booked an extended stay hotel. Yeah. Now, there is nothing wrong with extended stay hotel. The only thing that was wrong yeah. with it was Savannah thought that it was like a I thought a it luxurious home. Like, I thought it was like a Marriott. Yeah, it wasn't, but it's okay. So, but anyways, ever since then, I've been like skeptical, but she did her thing this time. Come on now. Baby, I need a drink. I ain't playing. Yeah, we know, Preggy. We in uh, Oregon with it. Call me your own DMC with it. <laughs> we have a guest today. Say hello, sissy. Some of y'all don't know that we got two kids because you only ever see one or the other, but. Come on, Simon, 2nd Timothy 117. Okay, I what's the brand is but also is this too big on my head it's a little big on my head but i think it's kind of cute i don't know i rented this coat it's from louis this is my husband's sweater okay sorry i don't know this is my maternity leggings so it's crazy these are the best purchase ever they're i look for you no ah. oh spanx maternity leggings this is the only maternity thing i bought and i've worn these with all three of my pregnancies and my boots are dulce vida we'll say the best for life no, it ain't. <laughs> we got a, a Kimbo hoodie, jacket from Zara. We got a tee from uh, Maywell. I got my lip gloss from Ro. Wait, why don't guys wear lip gloss? It feels really good. Well, I we wear this. chapstick, but I don't wear it either. I ain't never had to wear chapstick a day in my life. You knew that? I used to really struggle with chapped lips, so. You're gonna have to look where these pants are from, because I don't remember. Hey, good gray. Hey, bro, come on, we don't do that. This is the things I carry in my pocket. Baby, I ain't done. Two roads and an eyebrow pencil. Shoes, shoes. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. Oh, and the hat. Is oh, it? it's anthropology. Come here, twin. Where have you been? Sissy. Okay, if I was your twin face, right? Let me show you this view, though, before we head out. This is our room, by the way. 
you turn around, this is our view. Absolutely insane. All right, y'all, it is uh, next day. We barely vlog stuff. We kind of put some stuff on TikTok short form, so I can go watch that. But I did promise a house tour because this house is freaking amazing, like we said. And um, this is the living room. Looking swaggy, a little dope, a little, uh, yep. Dining room, big old kitchen. This was our room, really nice room. Hey, Gooks. Hey, mama. You going to the Sasquatch? Yeah, yeah, come see Dada. What are you doing? I lost my eye, my, my case for my glasses. Nice. Just packing. Believe <laughs> This John is nice. Walk across the hall. You got another bedroom. Two beds. Uh, TV. That's the end of this trip. How'd you feel being? I mean, end of this vlog, <laughs> not the trip. And the end of the trip. Yes, end of the trip. But how'd you feel being back here? It was so nostalgic for me. It made me realize that, like, as a kid coming here. Don't get me wrong, like Seaside, this is such a cute town. Mm -hmm. But as a kid, I thought it was like the most amazing thing. And it's like such a quaint little beach town. I know. And I think now, just knowing how much of a beach girl I am and knowing that I'm a warm beach girly, I'm like, get me to a warm beach. <laughs> One thing, we doing this pregnancy that's different besides uh, having a kid this early. Uh-huh. <laughs> we going on some trips. Wait, you guys, we have so much travel coming up. It's actually insane. After I go, I have a chiropractor appointment. You guys like don't even know what I'm saying, but I am in pain. Actually, I haven't told you guys on the vlog. I'm having a lot of issues mm -hmm. with my pelvis. Nice. So I'm going to the chiropractor tomorrow, and then I'm going to be a whole new woman. Okay. All right. Well, we love y'all, and we'll see y'all in the next. Vi oh, sticky butt. Crazy. What's the changer? Which one of y'all? Which one? Which one of y'all? Y'all want to be her auntie and uncle? Get to it. Talk <laughs> to it. <laughs> Sweater is my husband's leggings are. It's from Fashion Nova, by the way. You be don't put the <laughs> respect. I be with the fashions. Novas. Also, right, you came from daddy too.